We've hit another one, people. The MP9 has officially been tier 1 This video is going to be much easier to make than the PBX45 one. And the reason for that is because the MP9 is an absolute monster. But you have to put the time in with it first. Let me quickly run you through some of the attachments that I've predominantly been running with the MP9, just to give you a bit of an idea of how I've been playing it. So sight-wise, there's no surprise we're running the XDR Hollow. We also have the UH-1 Smart and also the Fusion Hollow. But as you can imagine, predominantly the XDR is the way to go for me. On the underbattle front, I've always run the BCG Light Grip. That accuracy while moving is a godsend. Sometimes though, I have mixed it up with the LS1 laser sight just for that hip fire accuracy. For the barrel, I actually stuck with the 6KU suppressor because the way I was playing with the MP9, the suppressor was massively beneficial. Alternatively, I was also using the Arcom tactical muzzle brake for vertical recoil control. Realistically, that wasn't too much of an issue. Now lastly, and probably most importantly, to make the MP9 viable, you need to be running that close combat drum mag. The reason I'm saying the drum mag is so, so important is because the initial size of the magazine is only 21, and with the fire rate of the MP9, you will burn through that mag before you've dropped one, if not two enemies. Especially now with armour in the game, it's even more difficult to drop enemies quickly. Once I had the drum mag unlocked, I was able to take out two, if not three enemies per mag. And that could be the difference between surviving or dying if you're playing as an aggressive SMG player. Whether I would be attacking or defending, I'll be pushing up to the enemy's front line and trying to get around their edges, flanking them with a suppressor. This was amplified even more when I was using the K. His passive ability of faster movement while aiming meant that I backed myself to win most gunfights. And by the end of my tier 1 journey, I was consistently dropping over 40 kills a game minimum with the MP9. I'm really going to miss the using the weapon now as we move on to the LCMG, a completely different style of gun and one I'm going to have to take some time to get used to. Let me know how your tier 1 journey is going down below. Have you got any specialists to tier 1 yet, or any weapons? As always, you can follow my journey through my streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8pm GMT. And feel free to join my Discord so you can vote on what weapon I'll do next. As always though, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you again for your time. I look forward to catching you all the next one.